Hey everyone, this is Chris Strong with Rapid Scan 3D. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and show uh, the Artec Leo 3D scanning this door um, and how to use texture tracking to help improve the alignment. So um, we have a basically flat door, no uh, uh, changing color or geometry here. Um, so what I did is took some uh, painter's tape, threw a few uh, pieces on here, and I'm going to utilize the color of the painter safe as well as some of the writing that's in the painter safe to actually go ahead and align the scans together. So I'm going to go ahead and scan and I'm going to bring this up in my Artec Leo scanner and from here we'll actually be able to visually see the scanning process. So uh, let's go ahead and just uh, start from the top and we'll go down. All right, so I'm all done here. Um, I can actually come back and visually look into my screen and see the scan that I did. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this into Arctic Studio software and go ahead and create a mesh, but I'm also gonna show you some measurement tools, really cool. So if you wanted to take some measurements to recreate this door, or if you needed to uh, uh, find some similarities, uh, we can definitely do that in Arctic Studio. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once we're done scanning, uh, we're just going to basically file and import the data. Um, I have that here, which is uh, Artec Leo door. Uh, you'll notice that this is uh, fully rendered uh, visually, so you can see uh, the door. Um, we can even go ahead and see the tape that I put on the door for the texture tracking. So the process is very easy. Uh, we're going to go into here to our global registration. What global registration does is it looks at all the scans we've done. So here I've only done one scan, but within that one scan, it took 1,284 frames. And within those frames, we're capturing around 50,000 points per second. So pretty good amount of data. So once this is done, uh, the software is basically going to use the geometry and texture of the uh, scan data to do a best fit. And then we're going to be able to create our mesh. So under here, we have Fusion. Uh, we have a few different Fusions. I'm just going to go ahead and run our Fast Fusion for this purpose. Um, what Fast Fusion does is basically connects the points into triangles or creating a mesh. Uh, below that, we have Smooth Fusion. Smooth Fusion will create a mesh, and it will smooth out data. So anytime there might be some error in the data or error in the actual part, it will smooth it out and look really well. Then we have Sharp Fusion. Sharp Fusion will create a mesh, but it will highlight everything that has a lot of sharp edges and create a really heavy, sharp, detailed file. Both Smooth and Fusion, Smooth and Sharp Fusion have function functionalities for hole filling. So you can fill by a certain radius, or if you want to scan something, let's say that was fully, uh, that didn't have any holes like a basketball, we can make a watertight mesh. All right, so we have our uh, mesh here. Um, so to take a couple measurements, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna construct a couple planes um, basically, the idea is to get um, a highlight or do a, um, a little area of each part, each side, to create some planes. So I'm going to fit a plane here. You can see the, pl the plane in green. I'm just going to flip to this side and do the same thing. Fit a plane. 
All right, so I have two planes here. Let me deselect the mesh. Um, a little hard to see, but I can kind of go from the sides. And then if I wanted to take a measurement between those two planes, I can go back to measurement. Say I'm going to take a distance measurement. I'm going to click the button right here. There. And there we go. 764 um, millimeters. And we can save that measurement as well. So let me pull back the mesh. And then uh, another thing here we could do, uh, for instance, if we wanted to, um, is we can create some more um, type of measurements. So one of the things I can do is construct. And let's just say I wanted to know what the distance was between two areas. So X marks the spot. I'm going to go ahead and fit a plane in this point. And I'm going to do one at the uh, top here as well. The plane. And right now, I'm just using an exact sample. I'm just sampling out. And let me uh, take away these other ones. I'm just going to use the two planes that I, uh, that I created from top to bottom. And then I can do another measurement. So if I just wanted to know what the measurement is between these two planes, the measurement, click here. And go to the top. All right. So 2,462 millimeters. And let's go ahead and just do one more. So measurement. Uh, another question was uh, distance between the bottom of the floor and a hinge which we can now do again. So basically I can hit the wrong button. Take a measurement from that bottom section. And if I want to know that distance, to that point. So now we can actually create even more measurements, uh, say from the bottom of the door or uh, the floor to a point. So there's a lot of different measurements that we can that we can capture. All right. And all our measurements are are saved here. So um, if you need to export them out later, we can export them as actually as um, an ex, uh, Excel sheet. So Excel. Or if we wanted to, we can actually export these to SolidWorks. Any questions, uh, please feel free to give me a call or shoot us an email. Thanks a lot.